For those of you who don't know what Let's Chat does, uh, we are a machine learning AI language translation and innovations company. Uh, we offer all of our products in 104 languages and 100 dialects, and everything is live and in real time. Our number one, uh, the number one patent we own as a company is that our technology detects the end user's device language, and we read what their phone or computer is set in, and we can translate any product, whether it's audio, video, text message, apps, uh, documents, into that user's preferred language live and in real time. The end user never has to do anything. It's completely frictionless. Um, and so that's an overview if you've missed what Let's Chat does, if this is your first time. But if you want the full details on the products and the demo, I would encourage you to go back and watch the last call. Um, I wanted to have this follow-up call um, for two reasons. One, uh, we didn't have enough time for Q&A last time. And I think we got about 30 questions in the last five minutes as we were closing out. So I wanted people to have a chance to come back and openly ask their questions. So we're going to do this in the most orderly way possible. So if you do have a question about Let's Chat, about the technology, about AI, about sales, about customers, about anything, you can either A, virtually raise your hand and I'll get to you as it comes, or B, type it in the chat and we'll go back and forth. Um, and that's the, the, main, the main goal of this evening. I want interaction. So if you are able to turn your camera off or, or hop in or participate, uh, this isn't the uh, hour and a half listen to Jason Bove talk and you just sit there and take notes. I want interaction because a lot of you probably have the same questions and a lot of you probably have never sold tech before, right? So tell, selling tech and, and selling a SaaS-based AI platform uh, is is something that is um, uh, you know new to a lot of people. So uh, with that, there's a few questions. Before we get the questions, I want to play one video. Um, if you haven't uh, joined or followed the Let's Chat LinkedIn page, uh, we are active on very active on LinkedIn. It's a great way to share our our products and our technology without having to try to explain it. But I want to share one video that we posted, it was actually reshared. Uh, how, how many of you oops, How many of you know a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk or heard of Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, right? So this is a, literally from a, a presentation that he did this week. And I'm gonna share my screen if, if that's possible. Um, and let's see if I get the right screen. Oh, share with sound. I've I've made that mistake a thousand times. Can everybody see this? Yes. Yeah, Kyle. we can see it, Kyle. So I want. I'm just going to play this clip, but this is just generally about the power and the future of AI coming from one of the biggest, largest marketing entrepreneurs in the world. He's a owns a, Vayner Media. Uh, he owned, he he was one of the original investors in Facebook. So he's a very forward thinking. So I just want you guys to hear this so you guys understand the magnitude of what we're offering here. If you are not using AI tools every day of your life, you're making a huge mistake. You've got to start training. Whether you need it or not is irrelevant. You're gonna need it and you're gonna interact with it every day. So the faster you're good at it. Remember when you met executives 20 years ago, 10 years ago, that still don't even use email and they have their like secretary print out the email, like when it felt so weird, that's how not using AI will feel. Right, so I think that's pretty powerful. He goes on to say, and I, I hope I stopped the share correctly. He goes on to say, AI is the new Netflix, right? AI is what Netflix was 10 years ago to Blockbuster, right? Netflix said, buy us for $40 million and Blockbuster laughed them out the room, right? And so that's where we are now. So understand uh, understand that. And so with that, I'm gonna open up questions to, uh, we'll start with Pete. He's, uh, Pete, your mic is hot. Unmute yourself and, and go for it. Yeah, I had a general question. It's like, what's the, I mean, cause obviously it's a referral platform. We don't need to know everything, but what's the easiest way to communicate what this does to a potential prospect. And then I'm in, the second question is, I'm in Silicon Valley, like literally half of my neighbors are either tech or in startups or what have you, so. Well, make sure they all have an NDA in place first before you tell them what we do. Um, but no, so, <laughs> so, so, um, so essentially, 
The best way to present this is two ways. One, we have a video, we're, 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 as Curtis will roll his eyes at right now, we're working on new marketing videos to demonstrate each product. We're putting that together, right? There is a basic overview video that we had that we may, had that Comcast made for us. By the way, Comcast is an investor and equity holder of Let's Chat. So the whole technology, the company is backed by Comcast, which is pretty powerful considering they're the largest global media conglomerate in the world, publicly traded top Fortune 30 company, but that's fine. Um, so there's a video that they did. It's about two, three minutes long that has just a brief overview of what Let's Chat does in a nutshell. That's a great way to at least get the conversation started. Um, another great way, and, and you can, again, go back to previous examples, a betterlife.com. So the better website has Let's Chat's plugin in it already. It is live in all 104 languages. At any point in time, you can change your device language, whether it's Google, Firefox, it doesn't matter. You go to settings on your browser and you can change your device language to Spanish. And if you go to a, and I will, I, you know what, Curtis, I'm going to show you this because you're like, just show them. I know what you're thinking, unfortunately. I'm going to you show know you. know so well, Kyle. I'm going to show you guys. You. Oh, Gary's still talking. Jeez. Gary, Gary, calm down. It is okay. really hard to get Gary Vaynerchuk to shut up. I, I love the guy to death, but man, that guy can talk. A betterlife.com. If I spell it right, that would be great. All right, so. This is something every single one of you can do at home on your computer for anybody you're showing this to and say, look, here's just a brief overview of what Let's Chat does. One thing to understand, this happens automatically for any of our Are you customers. sharing? No, not yet. Are you trying sharing? Okay, good. Nope. Okay. <laughs> what I'm about to show you will happen automatically for any of our customers. You will never, you will never have to you will never have to do this whole thing real live and in real time. So when a customer goes to a website, if any of you had your device in Spanish right now and went to a betterlife.com, the first time you went there, it would automatically populate in Spanish. You wouldn't actually have to do what I'm about to show you, but this is how you can all present the product's capabilities in a very simple way. So with that, enter my screen share. Hopefully I'm scaring the right. Can you guys see this? Am I doing this right? You're so as right. you can see, a betterlife.com is in English. Does everyone see this? Everybody say I, I, I. I, 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 I. Go, if I go here, you see these three little dots? You go to settings, in, and this is in Google. It works on any platform, which is a big differential between Let's Chat and like Google Translate. Google Translate only works on Google. It doesn't work on any other browser. So if you use iPhone and Safari, it doesn't work. If you use Firefox, if you use anything else, it doesn't work. Only Let's Chat, throwing that out there. Uh, so if I go to languages, my device is set in English. Does everyone see this? See, my device is set in English. If I change my device to Spanish, I click here, three dots, move to the top. So now my device is set to Spanish. I am going to refresh and then I go to better life. It's in English, right? So let's pretend I'm going to a betterlife.com and I'm, my device is in Spanish. If I hit reset, Delicious. please work. It'll take a second. Maybe it won't because I need to set the browser. Try again. All right. I need to relaunch and set the browser. Excuse me. All right, so as you can see, now everything's in, sorry, I had to re, I had to, uh, to reset. So now everything's in Spanish. You guys see everything is in Spanish now? So if I do go to betterlife.com and reload, I should probably just exit out and do it over again. Wait for it. Wait this for is a great it. Demo. This is a great demo. It's because I'm uh, better, better. Wow. You know, Kyle, I'm gonna give you an out here. Our website has been very weird today. So if, it's, right, so we'll if it again. doesn't work, it's probably not Kyle's fault. So let's try this. So let's chat our website. 
gonna pause it. I didn't buy it yet. Yep. All right, who's chatting? Mute Stan. All right, so as you can see, the let's chat, sorry, it just happened in real time. I don't know if you guys saw that translation happen. This is how it would normally, so this is our website for let's chat, right? It is all in, everything is in Spanish. You guys see how the whole site is in Spanish, everything? That's how a normal customer would view this because our plugin is in there, right? So everything would automatically be in Spanish and uh, certain things like Facebook, certain other logos, uh, legal stuff, our brand would always stay true to what our brand is if that wouldn't translate. Um, and so that's how, how it works. It's automatic live and in real time. So um, hold on a second. Yeah. Kyle, do your kids just randomly interrupt in the middle of presentations like mine do? Yes. And, and <laughs> they don't wear clothes when they do it. So that's even better. Um, good, old, good old children. So Pete, does that, so Pete, does that answer your question or was there more to it? What else did I miss? No, it does. Like, but could, if you had a simple elevator pitch introduction, if you will, it's like, cause I mean, I'm successful in some of the other programs that we have and it's, I got my little pitch and say, so I mean, would it be just, Hey, look, have you ever considered, uh, gaining more audience with language translation? I mean, what, is there like a simple pitch or is that a, or maybe Curtis has a script you have on a better site and I just haven't seen it, so. So we made, I actually posted, I posted the pitch. It's been in there many times. It was posted on the better Facebook page. It was posted on under the Let's Chat channel. Basically the pitch on, and I can find it real quick. No, that's okay. Um, yeah, pitching. Kyle, what you can do, just uh, Kyle, shoot it over to me again and I'll make sure it's up in the course for Let's Chat. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll just give you my two cents. I know that Kyle probably has something much more fancy and official, but for me, it's been really simple. It's like, listen, um, Mr. Business Owner, uh, I've been working with a company that um, has a tool that plugs right into like your website or just anything that you have going on the marketing side. And um, through through AI, it's actually converting about 20% more of your just raw traffic that's coming to your website automatically because you're you're starting to speak their own language. It's using some proprietary tech to actually um, translate based off of you know what their device language is, and it makes it so they actually feel like they're being communicated to. Um, we're seeing great success. A term that's actually well understood in the B two B world is Lyft. Lyft would be. Um, an increase in conversion compared to something not being in place. We're seeing a high, uh, a higher lift when it comes to conversions when this tool is in place. I'm not an expert on it, but um, I think it's something definitely worth you checking out. And uh, that's done pretty well for me. Kyle, would you would you give it in a different way? Yes. No. Uh, uh, no. That was really good. But I, I we do have this page. Um, you know, and, and to, to echo what Curtis is saying, right? It's the question is, how does your business care for customers who don't speak English as their primary language, right? So find find out what their problem is, right? Common pain points. And this is a document that's on web, left chat. It's on Mighty Networks. It's on the Facebook page. It's, it's in there. Uh, okay. It's on the training tools. But common points where language barriers occur, mobile apps, digital employee recruitment, training, website content, yada, yada, right? And then why Let's Chat? Nothing for employees to guess or install, frictionless, seamless API integration, yada, yada, right? So it, we, I, my, my way in, in selling is let the client address the problem first, right? Let them tell you what their problems are and that diagnose the problem, prescribe a solution, right? Sales 101 is, hey, uh, and you as a, a customer, do you, or as a business owner, right? Pete, Pete Alexander, CEO. Well, let me ask you this, and I'll ask everyone on the call. You can raise your hand virtually, raise your hand. I don't know. Has anybody? Does anybody know anybody that speaks another language? Has anybody? Does anyone ever have an employee or work with somebody that speaks another language? And have you ever had a customer that speaks a different language? Great. I have a solution for every single one of you. It's that easy. Right. And so it's it's 
Have you, you know, have you ever lost a customer because they, you don't speak their language? And here's the two answers you want to hear. I don't know, or yes. <laughs> and if they say no, the response is, well, I'm sorry, you obviously don't know your, your, your customer base or the world we live in. And you obviously haven't walked outside anytime lately, right? Because everybody, right? I know Bove lives in Arizona. I would say half of Arizona doesn't speak English, right? And I would also say 90% of businesses in Arizona don't offer Spanish as, an alter as a second language. In every business, every obviously I would say schools probably do, they have to, but a lot of businesses don't unless they have a Spanish speaking person. But then the only thing they offer from that business is having that Spanish speaking person. Their website's not in Spanish, their documents, their menus, their, their, uh, their banners, their ads, their marketing material, not their social media content, nothing is in anything else but English. Right, so how can you market to other audiences? And great, Spanish is there, but what about the 180 other languages in the United States alone? What, what about the rest of the country? What about the 30 people who don't speak English as a first at, at all? 30% of the US doesn't speak English at all. 50% doesn't speak English as a first language. What is it, 330, 350 million people? So 180, 150 to 180 million people in the US are a customer base just in the US. And yes, I think Rob asked, can we go global? Yeah, we're global, we're all over the world. We have clients in all countries. So uh, again, who's your customer? Anybody who's ever had to deal with a language barrier is a potential client. And bring that up right in day one. Hey, do you guys ever deal with language as a problem, whether it's with your employees or your potential customers? Or are you trying to reach a new customer base or a new audience? In any single industry, I don't care if you're selling cars, houses, if you're a school, right, trying to bring new kids to your classroom, teach them, it doesn't matter. A dentist office, an insurance company, a financial services company, it doesn't matter. Imagine if you were, in, I know some people here with Jason are in financial services. Imagine if you could offer your financial services to anybody in any language. That's something to think about, right? So uh, next we're going to Rosemary. She has her hands up. I'm gonna Rosemary and then Trisha, and then we're gonna to go to the chat. So Rosemary, you're, you're hot. Well, that's very kind. I think my husband well, hot, your, mic's, you. your mic's hot, you're off camera, so I don't. I know that, I'm just being funny. Curtis. I just figured everybody would get a chuckle out of that. Anyway, um, I'm off Kyle's going to go red in a second. I can already tell. <laughs> um, humor is good for our soul. Anyway, so my question is regarding um, like demographics. What is the best way to search out a demographic like in our area, like in New Jersey for me? Um, you know, what languages are the primary, right? Like secondary languages, like next to English. Um, you know, I, I know it's like, oh, you ever say just Google it, but like, you know, is there a specific kind of phrase that I need? Is it just that simple? It, it is that simple, but it also, here's the thing that your customers and your potential clients, the businesses you're talking to, they don't know. They don't know right. the answer. You're, 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 you're asking a question that they don't know the answer to. Hey, what languages do you market to? I don't know English. We, we have a car dealership in Missouri. Jordan tells the story all the time. They had a huge population in Missouri, no, middle of nowhere, Missouri. They had a huge population of Russian speaking people because there was a business that started there five years ago. It was a Russian CEO and they only brought hired Russians from all over the country. Wow. And, and so they had a huge thousands of Russian people that were buying cars and they had no idea. And so what did they do? They went out and hired a Russian sales rep who spoke Russian and they, you know, their, their, their growth was what, 20% growth or something once they hired that person. And, and most of it was, he handled all the Russian people. And then the whole Russian community in that area, what do they do? Hey, if you need a car, you got to go to this guy. He actually speaks Russian. I can communicate with him. Right. Exactly. And I don't, that's just one example. You're going to hear that everywhere you go. Um, I think what was the, what was the stat we posted the other day? It was. 75% of customers, oh, let me get this right so you guys can use this because it's a good one. Um, why are people messaging me on this? Oh, there's the one thing. 
Here we go. Uh, 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 CSA Research, I don't know what CSA is, but you, customer service actually is customer service association research reveals that 75% of consumers are more likely to purchase from a brand again if the service or customer service is offered in their language. That's 75%. So I don't I don't create those stats. I was just reading a, a post. So thank that's, you. That, that, that's how I would address that is, you know, you assume your customer doesn't know. And, and one thing about Let's Chat, our technology, we track that data. We tell the customer, we put our plug in the website. We'll tell a customer, hey, how many unique languages hit your website this week, this month? University of Miami, who's now a client, we put our plugin on their website for five days. In five days, they had 37 different languages hit their website. They were expecting three or four, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever. They got 37 unique languages hit their site in five days. And, and that was the easiest sell we've ever had in our life. They were a customer before the trial. It was supposed to be a seven day trial after day five. They're like, we're sold, let's go. So. Fabulous. Yes. Trisha, you're um, up. You're sorry. live. Thank, Thank you, you, Rosemary. Good choice of words there, Kyle. Trisha. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, I have not a couple saying of you're not hot. I'm just trying to be. Go ahead, okay. Trisha. Sorry, I have a few questions. Yes. Um, do hospitals qualify also? And is it all like if they have it on their website? Um, and then somebody says, I'd like to chat with you live. Is that then also translated right then and there in the chat also? It can be. We can do any live chat bots, anything live in real time. So an end user could ch type in in Chinese and the person behind the chat bot would get it in English. They type back in English. It's live translated back to the customer, whatever their language was. But that's a different, that's like an additional option not that's just another one of our in. products. That's our yeah, <laughs> okay. that's our live trans live translation. That's our Unite product. Okay, and then we on the Zoom translation and presentation tools. Okay. So the, just to clarify, what Trish is letting everyone know, all types of communication we can translate. Any way that a business communicates with their employees, their customers, their potential customers, other businesses, we can communicate audio, video, text. Uh, websites, apps, documents, you name it, chatbots, screens, we can Zoom calls, text messages, SMS, we can translate it live and in real time, 104 languages. And I have two more questions. The Zoom option, Zoom yes. is, a is a customer of, of Let's Chat Now. Yes. And what does the end user, like, so say a company wants to, do, like, say for me, for instance, I want to do a Zoom. Yes. Um, what do I need to have or do I need to pay for something through you directly or how do I sell that to an individual? Great. who's? So they would have to have they would have to buy the Zoom plugin from us. It's an API on Zoom. You have to have a Zoom pro account or greater. So you have to be paying for a Zoom account. I think the minimum level is 20 bucks a month. And then if you say, hey, here's my Zoom, my Zoom email. We activate our plugin on your email account and, and we it's charged by the minute that your trip you're translating. The host it has the product and all of the viewers. So right now, let's say Curtis is the host. If he had the Zoom plugin, he could put on Let's Chat, and every single one of you could have me me talking in subtitles in whatever language you want, live and in real time. Awesome. So um, that product is up and live. You would have to sell the, the our Zoom translation product to the customer. The customer would have to buy it from us, and we would have to give them the access to add it to their Zoom account. Got it. Okay, I didn't know how that worked. Um, and um, for for documents, you said you mentioned that um, also that we can print in the language of choice. How does that work for legality purposes? Like I'm a realtor, so if I was going to sell a house to somebody that was Spanish and they wanted the paperwork so they could understand it. Mm -hmm. Do I have to reprint it in English and have them sign it both times or would the Spanish version withhold in um, for legal purposes? That is up to your company, your real estate company. We use, when it comes to legal documents and medical documents, we use human certified translators to review the documents. So for any standard document, like a, a simple, you know, 
let's say a Let's Chat one pager. If I wanted that translated, I could upload it to our portal, translate it into any language that we offer, download it, and it's ready to go. When it comes to legal documents uh, or healthcare documents, those documents are sent in to us. We can still translate it with our system, but then we have them reviewed by human certified translators. So if it comes okay. to a legal document like a real estate document, I would say 98% of that document will always stay the same. So the legality of that 98% will always stay the same. Obviously, the specifics of the property and the buyer and the terms would always have to be adjusted. So we can do all that. We would just have to, we always bring in certified translators um, okay. when it comes to legal documents or healthcare. Um, the good news is on top of that, for everyone to know, Let's Chat does actually carry, and this is a real thing, language insurance. So we carry a million dollar language pol policy on all of our terms, just in case our translation causes harm or damage to somebody else. We have insurance that will cover that or wow. help cover that, would not. Um, but you for that being said, so let's use real estate. If you had a real estate flyer that you are marketing a house for, you could just upload it. I want this flyer in Spanish, French, German, download it and send it out to everybody. So when you're hosting an open house, you can have that flyer available in any language. No big deal. If we, if there's a, a, a mistake, grammatical error in Spanish on your house listing, no one's going to sue you for that, right? Unless you said, you know, instead of, you know, two bedrooms, it was 20 bedrooms. Obviously that would never happen, right? Right. But from the specific legality of it, when it comes to legal signed contracts, when it comes to buying a house or mortgage documents, we would have all that reviewed by certified human translators. Yes, sir. And lastly, um, how do you, are you getting the most success in person, phone calls, email, or text? For what? Or any, for like to get clients, to get customers, to I, get the. I wake up, I wake up with 30 to 40 leads in my inbox. So I, <laughs> <Got it. laughs> my success is I call Jeff Levitan, who runs this crazy organization called Better and has some really badass salespeople and high network people, and they don't let me sleep anymore. Got it. So how would you, Trisha, do, how about we, a, do you, how would I answer that question? <laughs> <laughs> was that the right answer though, Curtis? Was that not no, the right answer? No. Here, here's the thing guys. Um, business has moved so thoroughly and aggressively over to zoom. It's actually sort of weird to go do an appointment, frankly, in person. Um, I would strongly suggest if you have a phone number, I would start with the call to warm it up and then tag it over to a zoom meeting Kyle, you guys got it. How many people do you guys have on the sales side now? You you have a bit of a team now at this point, right? Internally or like yeah. through through yeah, you, agents? No, no, no. Obviously, we're referring, but you guys have a couple guys. If the company's big enough and there's some good quality questions there, yeah. So we have tagging. we have now two as of as of Monday. We now have two full time people on our team, Adam and Dean, who handle everything better for us. All training calls, preps, all that stuff. So if you guys need call set up, we have a calendar link that's active. Uh, there's limited times on there just so that we can actually get stuff done throughout the day. Um, but we have two guys now that are handling all the, the preps and training calls for you guys. Was that where you were going, Curtis, or more? Or more yeah, exactly. Our that's right. The, the point is, guys, here, here's kind of the case with anything better. You should really understand the basics. You should understand what it is fundamentally. Like everything that Kyle's saying here, you should get, okay, we're talking about translations. Translations can improve, you know, conversion, let's call it 10, 20%, sometimes more depending on the industry. And as long as you understand that and you can handle just the basic introduction, then between sales pages and their sales team, they'll be able to take it the rest of the way Sure, if you have a good connection with the person and you feel like you can take it all the way to a signed contract, by all means, great. But they're still going to be there as a resource for you. That's kind of, I, I would say, the gist of it. Good. Yeah. Good answer. Does that help? All right, we're going to go to the chat for a second. Thanks, Trisha. I have, I have five hands up, but I, I said the chat's next. Uh, Rob, so international, on the international building of a team, that's a Curtis question. On the international of selling Let's Chat, we have no borders. Uh, we are, I almost, I almost went political on it, Curtis. We are, oh boy. We, we have no borders and no walls. 
Uh, so we are. Let's chat is open. You guys are like the the Mexican border of of AI yeah, translations. We are we, we are the Mexican U.S. border. Anyone can come and go, right? So um, it's all said in jest, guys. But to answer the question on international teams, guys, we're we've done we've started on the research. It's a like there are so many pr different privacy laws by each country where we're finding out that going international is quite a feat. Um, so we will be rolling that out over time. But um, to Kyle's point, the cool thing about Let's Chat is you have no limit to where you can get your clientele. So if you know someone in Thailand, if you know someone in Russia, if you know someone in China, it doesn't matter. Like you can get your clients anywhere. And if you need to somehow then pay someone yourself, don't forget, guys, this is not an industry that's like heavily regulated where you can't pay someone else for sending you a lead. So you then pull up your PayPal account and send over money to someone who sends you a lead. You, you keep, there, are, there are as many solutions as there are problems on this one. And you can build your own international team. We just won't be able to pay them for you quite yet. We're working on it, but coming soon, relatively. Perfect. Thank you, Curtis. Uh, yes, and I Jeff's know. And right. Humberto. Sleep is overrated, Kyle. Yeah, I know, Humbert. I, I need to delete the cookies. I, I didn't want to get too technical with everyone on the call because no one, some people will start getting hungry or start talking about cookies on one of them. Uh, so are you only discussing with business owners? No. So that's my main focus, business entities, C-level executives as a salesperson. But think about this. Who can benefit from translations? Influencers, individual uh, people who run maybe websites, uh, marketing groups, I guess that would technically be companies, but small small mom and pops, there's other people outside of business owners specifically that can benefit. Even I'm a sales rep for a, com a company, right? And I want to just be a better sales rep. I'm, I want to be a real estate agent or whatever. They don't have to own the business. They can still benefit from, from the products and services. So it doesn't have to be specifically business owners. You can get a lot of smaller people, individuals, um, and it might be individual business owners if, if you're you know, referring to a single person, but let's say I'm a, a single individual independent contractor and I, I work for anybody else and I offer products and services, I could benefit from Let's Chat even as a sole proprietor or, or individual LLC, whatever, right? So there's really no, no, we can go as small as one single person. We can, we can have one person send us one page document and translate it one time. We could also have... Uh, uh, the, we could also have Google try, trans, call us and say, we want you to translate every website we ever have in existence, to which you would never hear from me again. But that's, uh, we can do that, right? So um, question on who to contact in a large company. In a large company, I would go two routes. I would go anybody on the tech side. So a CTO, which is a chief technical officer, a CIO, which is either a chief information officer or a chief innovation officer or anybody that's interested in, in business development or new partnerships or, or anything like that. The other route I would go is on the marketing side. So if someone's in the marketing world, that because the marketing usually handles the website, digital, social media, all that stuff for a lot of companies. Um, so that's also a really good path to go um, and, and go, go all, either of those routes. You should at least get some uh, traction or at least some direction in where to, who to talk to about that. Uh, yes, universities and schools are great opportunities. We do full universities, their entire uh, course catalog. All of the courses, all of the online courses, anywhere in the world, we can now off, you can now offer to potential students in any language. What is the value of a university be able to offer their, their, their class and their course content in any language to anyone in the world? I'm, I'm essentially telling you as a university, I will 100x your opportunity to grow your university. Universities make money off of uh, tuition. How do you sell more tuition? Offer your products to more people. How do you offer your product to more people? Speak more languages and you can offer the same product to 100 times more people. You guys got that? Uh, can a business owner have a seven-day trial? Yes, all of our products come with a free seven-day trial. From now on, all of our products can come with a free seven-day trial. We require the business owner to put a credit card on file that is going to be coming up to your inboxes on Monday. We're just working on it on the better side to announce this to everybody. 
the business, they will have to put a credit card on file when this trial ends, we will automatically bill them. They will automatically, the product will go from free trial to paid client when at the end of the seven day trial. And if they don't want it, they will have to cancel, uh, but they won't want it. Uh, they will want it, so they won't want to cancel. Um, but we're working on that. Uh, in general, do most businesses start with website translation? No. Um, yes and no. It's the easiest product to kind of sell and, and demonstrate, but website translation, document translation. We have a lot of law firms that like document translation. Uh, we, we work with a lot of um, schools, universities that like document translation. Uh, we do, it depends on the company. We have a lot of companies that just want broadcast. They just want video dubbing and subtitling. Um, we are fully integrated into YouTube and video. So YouTubers, videos or, or Vimeos or companies that use YouTube to put out their, their videos. Uh, we can just integrate right into the YouTube channel. And every time they upload a video it would auto automatically be translated into any of their languages. Um, so I'm gonna take a break and from the reading and go to Lydia who's, and Rosemary, you're on pause because you already got a question. So I'm gonna go to Lydia and then Rosemary. And we'll come back to, uh, to the next Sorry, question. Linda, go ahead. Linda, sorry, I'm Lydia, I can't, I'm reading a thousand things. Linda, I apologize. It's okay, just don't call me late for dinner, right? There you go. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you so much. I'm, you know, I'm super excited about this. I work for four large corporations. I'm the one who asked about who to contact, you know, in large companies. Yes. And uh, I mean, one of the one of the magazines I work with has 48 editions, right? So I'm like, okay, are they already translating it? That's why, you know, I'm not going to go right to the editor and you know approach him. So, you know, it's like the gatekeepers, right? Yep. Had it, and, and then do you come on with me or, you know, do I, you know, not do this myself on that level? Yeah. Yeah. So D, one of our Dean or Adam will be on that intro call. We call it discovery call. So the first call with any client is going to be a discovery call. We're going to have Dean and Adam from our Let's Chat team come on with you. And they're going to vet out what the customer actually needs and what we ask, actually have to offer. So you guys don't have to do that. You don't have to know and memorize and understand all of our products. If you can, that would be great. I would. I know you guys also have a lot of other things going on within Better and other stuff to do in your lives. But if you could all just memorize all of our products and how SaaS works and how AI works, that would be really great. Um, and so since we don't expect you to do that, a lot of you are still trying to figure out how to spell AI, which also I am. Um, we have a team that will do that for you. Um, they'll come on and they'll do the discovery. They'll present the basic products, see what the customer wants. And then we can go two routes. One route is do they need more technical questions? When you get into the technical side of things, we'll bring on some of our developers and our tech team for a next call. If they go on to the, hey, we want to move forward we, on, onto the sales and deals or enterprise deals or whatever it is, then myself and, and some of the sales guys within Let's Chat will come on and help you close the deal. So based on the initial call, we'll get feedback and then we'll know next steps for the next call. Sometimes we've had a few calls, even with people in better that on the first call, they're like, great, I'd like to sign up right now and purchase this. We just send over the link. Now we have a Stripe link where they could just go in, buy the product. We send them the, we send them an account, they sign up and it's up and running. And you guys get a check in your, your, your better mailbox uh, on the first of the next month or so whatever. Let me ask you a question on that to do with discovery. So if these are big corporations, uh, is that something I could like give you the name and we know they're, you know, fairly large and we would start with, you know, what we think they probably would would use and then approach it from that end when they're contacted? That's, you know, my question. That, would be, that would be up to you to make the initial contact. Right. That's up. That's your job as a as a as a, essentially a sales agent for us. Right is your job is to contact that company, get the right person on the phone with us. Um, they don't, we obviously would rather have decision makers. We know that's hard sometimes. Get someone on the call who can at least spike interest in Let's Chat for them to at least put it in front of the right people, right? So our job at Let's Chat, right? Let's, I want everyone to understand this. Better is everyone on this call from the better side, you guys are our sales force, right? You guys are the sales team. So what our job is, is to help you guys explain our products and capabilities to your customers. Our job isn't to find the customers for you. Our job isn't to find the person to talk to. That's your job. 
right? So what we're saying is all you have to do is bring the right person to our doorstep and we'll take it over from there. We still expect you all to be active with the client. We expect you to continue to build the relationship with the client and customer because the number one thing in any sales for any, I'm not here to, to, to do a sales seminar, although I'd like to, the number one thing for sales is a relationship with the customer. That is your job as the better agent to build that relationship with that customer. And it is our job to deliver new, innovative, badass technology. If we all work together on doing that, you guys fulfill your side of the role and we fulfill our side of the role. That's where we all make a lot of money and we help a lot of people, right? So your job is to bring qualified leads to the table to get us on calls. Don't just randomly reach out to someone on LinkedIn and say, hey, I want to get you on a call. They say, sure. And we get on a call and they're like, what's this about? That doesn't, that doesn't work for us. They need to understand what we offer, which is your job to explain to them what our basic, hey, we have a really great innovative machine learning AI language translation company that could really benefit your business, that could really help your company grow. I'd love to get you on a call with them. I think it's a fantastic option. It's a huge value add. It'll solve a lot of your problems, whatever it is, right? So that's what I would say. And then once you have the right person on the phone who shows interest, who'd like to hear more, then you bring us in and we will give them more to think about. Yeah. Here's the beautiful, beautiful thing of this thing, guys. This is like, if you look at the grand scheme of just all the different opportunities that people have out there, and all the different things that you could do to make money in, in life. I was talking with someone earlier and they were saying to me, better is probably like the easiest thing that they've ever seen. And the point is how many opportunities do you guys have out there where you have a full blown sales team sitting there ready to take the people you already know and push them through all the way over to the other end of the finish line. And I don't know if you noticed, Kyle didn't say, oh yeah, and you'll just go and you know, split your commission with me. No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You, if, you're, if you're the expert sales guy and you can push the whole thing through yourself, great. If you are you know, just the perfect person to open the door because you have the right connection, or heck, it doesn't matter. Like the top guy in better right now in terms of introducing better to people didn't know, I think 70% of the people that he actually got into better to distribute our products, that he didn't know them at all. He mastered in that case, how to go into indeed.com, which is like a recruiting kind of hiring platform and figured out the perfect pitch to get someone on and make that first little bit of the introduction. And then he tagged Zoe, who's his, uh, you know, the person who introduced him to better and Zoe hit it home and deal done. That's exactly what this is, guys. Your job and what you kind of have the, not, I wouldn't say it's overly simple, but it isn't a complicated task. You have to find the right people and figure out a successful way to just bring, bridge it over to mm -hmm. Let's Chat, PFN, mm -hmm. it doesn't, it, you're one of the ERC companies. All of this stuff is, you know, we're building out, as you guys have seen, sales pages. Clearwater, you guys are going to see soon, is also, uh, unveiling a, an actual full-blown sales webinar that you could mass enroll people just to hop onto that webinar and they're going to just do the selling for you and they're going to dive in hit all of the pain points hit all of the struggles that people run into and just kind of push them right across the finish line the the thing the thing that's interesting about let's chat that i think you guys got to remember is most of the people that you're probably dealing with are primary primarily english speaking but this is a market that is massive in this country and obviously massive around the world. Like how many people speak English on the planet? It, you know what I mean? Maybe it's, you know, 10%. It's not, it's not something that is so um, everywhere that there's just this small opportunity. It's just Let's Chat is so innovative. They're so on the cutting edge that you guys have the opportunity to be pioneers in an area that you're, you're opening up a massive portion of the, the market in the US and a massive portion of the market in the world to companies that otherwise aren't even aware that it's out there. This is like such an amazing opportunity. And your job is just to make that introduction, make a quality introduction, get them to understand the pain point that in this case, they might not have even realized that they had 
and then set up that appointment. And then the technical, the objections that they're going to have, that's where the Let's Chat team comes in and they'll they'll hit a home run. They're, these guys are amazing. Some of the companies that they're working on right now for better referrals are mind blowing. And I know we can't really talk about some of them that are we're in the middle of, but some of these companies, you would go, wow, I've heard of that company. Oh my God, I, I use their product every day. That's something I'm, I'm, a, I'm very well aware of. I watch their stuff all the time. These are massive companies and you just got to get out there and just talk about it and make these introductions. And, um, it's that but simple. to Curtis's point, if anyone does want to split commission with me, I am a better <laughs> agent registered. I will send you all my code. And we can His have code is AAA000. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Um, and so, so to Curtis's point, Mark, I know you're on the, Mark Reed, are you on the call? Or are you live and active? Yes, sir. Mark Reed and Steve Manley, I've had calls with both of you guys in the last uh, two weeks with some pretty significant size clients. You want to just give some feedback on, on brief, I don't need to know who the client is, just how it went, what was their response to seeing the technology. I want everyone to hear it from better agents who have brought us in to calls with very large customers and hear their Steve. I'll go Mark and Steve. Go ahead, Mark. Just give us a little feedback on the on the feedback from the client or customer. Yeah, the customer feedback was awesome. Um, they're extremely excited and the, the timeliness was impeccable too. They were they were actively looking for something. This is a um, I'll just say it's a church, and every Saturday evening they have a service and they they literally bring in a Spanish speaking person to watch it live. And to speak into a recorder in Spanish, and then they they mold the audio into the video, render it, and then they ship it out for the following day um, for their streaming services. So it was awesome. And, and I'll just say too, you know, Curtis and Jesus setting up all the 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 website stuff for the links to actually get in there and, and make that discovery appointment. It was pretty flawless. Um, we just put the company information in. We didn't select what they wanted. We'd certainly already had a conversation with them, so we knew that they were interested, right? Um, and then after that, you click next, and it goes to a Calendly, and you select a time, and it was it was super super easy. So our follow up is uh, is May first. They're super excited. And Dean, I'll just follow up too. Dean Dean was on there, and uh, he was awesome. Very knowledgeable. Answered all their questions. Um, great 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 experience. Thank you. And Dean, and Dean, who's new on our team, just for everyone to know, and if he's on a call, Dean is a, he's a tech guy, and he also has uh, uh, his master's in finance from Cal Berkeley or something like that. So he's, he's, a, he's a really smart guy. And so Steve, you want to give, Steve Manley, you want to give some feedback? I know we got a, a lot of, a lot of massive things in the hopper, but you want to give just feedback on some of the, the client feedback and customer feedback that you've had as, as you get nearer and nearer to retirement. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kyle. Yeah, it's uh, the, the, the feedback that I'm getting from the clients is they're all very excited. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's a great technology for all of them. Once you start talking to these guys, and that's what I do is I just start a conversation. <clears throat> um, the feedback that they're getting after getting the presentations um, is fantastic. And they all, it, you know, it's just a, a question of coordinating. Um, like Kyle said, we're working on some bigger deals, uh, but the presentations and the feedback is really, really good. So my advice to everybody is just kind of familiarize yourself with the products and then just start having conversations because it's an intriguing subject. People will listen. Thank you, Steve. And I, I will throw one thing in Rosemary, you're next. Um, and I could stay on here all night, people. I, I, I'm excited about this. Uh, you could tell I, I want to respect your time. So we have uh, five minutes, but if you guys want to stay over, I will stay. Um, uh, and so with one thing I do want to, a, a big thing that we had that Comcast was really big on when, when he first met Let's Chat, Comcast has a really big push for DE&I, right? Diversity, equity, inclusion is the hot word for every big major corporation in the country. And that last I, inclusion, how can you be inclusive if you can't even speak their language? How can you be inclusive to your employees if you can't communicate with them or your customers? <laughs> Sorry, that was a naked baby running around. Oh, it's fine. If it makes you feel any better, we can't oh. really see them. Oh, okay, good. Um, so again, that's a big play. That's not necessarily okay, like my go-to, like DE&I. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. We're a bunch of family men here, guys. Like she's, better she's life. You know she's what I mean? Still. This is exactly what this is all about. We're we're making our lives better, but you know, uh, here, life. Come here. All right, star of the show. This is Jolie, everybody. <laughs> Blonde hair, blue eyed to you. Say hi. Hi, Jolie. <laughs> All right, go play with your 10,000 Barbies. Um, and so, again, that's a big push as well. When you get into that whole DNI and HR side of companies, they love Let's Chat without a hesitation. Um, so, Rosemary, you're, you're back live. Hot, hot as they say. <laughs> so, um, so, my question is. Um, this is going to be posted on Mighty Networks, and how soon would it be up? Because I was cooking dinner earlier, and I just I can't take notes yet. Curtis will have this up in three seconds after the call, and transcribed in all 104 languages. <laughs> uh, the real answer to that is we'll have it up tomorrow. But yeah, that's right. We will definitely get it up right away, guys. Okay, I'm going right, back to you. the... And then my second fast question is, the training that we had, I believe it was March 9th, I'm going by heart. Has that been posted because I kept asking and I never got, it did. Okay, fabulous, thank you. It was, I would, again, any support questions on training videos, recordings um, that have been through better, email support at abetterlife.com and our hands-on 24-7, 365 support team will get back to you eventually when they okay. wake up. bus just keeps running over me. It's amazing. I don't know where it's coming from. Um, Jeff, uh, Jeff um, let me read a quote from Jeff Levitan in this chat from earlier at 7.34 p.m. Sleep is overrated. I just want to, that's quoted from our CEO, Jeff Levitan. I am quoting Jeff on that one. Um, all right, going back These to the These other two are missing context. He also said churches, municipalities. Yep. I'm assuming that's supposed to imply, let's chat is great for churches and municipalities, but yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've got some quality quality content flying off the hook right So now. here we go. Do they follow up after discovery? So when we have a discovery call with a client, right, there's usually next steps. Next steps will include either onboarding them as a customer or next steps will include maybe giving them a sample or a free trial or next steps will be a call. We can follow up with that. It is also your job as the sales agent to manage your account. So if you don't see, if anything, we follow up with a client, we include the sale, the agent on, who, the agent who brought the client will be included in every communication we have with a client. If there is no communication or you haven't seen a communication or you haven't gotten a response from the client, neither have we. So it is your job to stay current and follow up with everybody. Hey, these were the next steps from the call, right? Where do we stand on these? What is your feedback, this and that, right? It is your job as the sales agent to manage and own your, your clients. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, please share a contact person that I can reach out to regarding presentations on a large public company. I'm putting it in the chat right now. Uh, better, B-E-T-T-R at letschat.com. That comes to all of us internally. So better at letschat.com. If you have a Let's Chat specific question or client or customer or need on Let's Chat, you email us. If you have a better question about Mighty Networks, onboarding, agent codes, getting paid, anything like that, you email support at abetterlife.com. You guys got that? If you guys come to me with payment questions, I will tell you your checks in the mail. Can you repeat that, please? Uh, they're both in the chat, so support okay. at abetterlife.com. So better at letschat.com is the Let's Chat email for Let's Chat specific questions. <laughs> better support at abetterlife.com is for, yeah, is for- uh, Yeah, that was a naked baby. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, all right, so going back up, I want to get all these questions. Curtis, am I okay to keep going for a little bit over? Is everyone okay? We should we should definitely just take maybe one or two more of these. Um, it, Rob is saying okay. something. Is there a target date for client journey on better? Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing an update on some of these sales yeah. pages in this next week. So we'll, I, we'll get a bunch of those up there. I will tell you, I will tell you a lot of the, the Let's Chat stuff that we're missing on the better site is on us. Right, so this is a let's chat thing. We are completely inundated with calls and sales and implementing the the demos, the stuff for the discovery. 
Curtis has been on us. We are working on it. Uh, we are uh, very busy. So that is our fault. This has nothing to do with better. We are fully accountable for that. We know we're trying to get you guys all the details and all the, all the products and information that will help you guys sell. We are working on that very diligently. And uh, I will just, it is on us, not on better, not on Curtis. They are waiting for us patiently minus the 10 phone calls a day on where is my stuff, but they are patiently waiting for that stuff to give you guys all the tools and we're working on it. Um, I was going to say, I, I, you and I have a different definition of patient, but no, 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 it's uh, honestly guys though, we really appreciate how much patience you guys have had with us. The thing is, this is just like anything that is massively explosive. Like you guys got to understand and don't you even dare slow down, but the amount of, extremely high quality business you guys are sending over on let's chat on clearwater on each of the erc platforms everything you guys are doing on pfn i i, I wanted alex to pop on here but he's uh he's doing some stuff uh family related as well and um he just brought in a loan processing company i believe it is that is going to be sending in a thousand referrals a month a thousand referrals for credit repair debt settlement every single month and that's just their existing lead flow and that wasn't direct to pfn that was two different um people in i believe in bovey's team in this team two people brought in this uh particular loan processing company so i appreciate all of the the uh the grace as jeff would say you guys are extending to us but it's partly your problem and it's your fault, entirely your fault, actually. In fact, we take no responsibility for the problems. You guys are sending us too much business. We can't keep up. So and, and, no, and I'll leave you, guys, you with, guys are doing a great job. And if I'm going to leave you guys with a powerful message is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the powerful <laughs> message is that there are some really great products and better. There are some fantastic products across the board. I would argue bar none that let's chat is a head and shoulders above everything else for the reasons that, that a we're global over there i'm sorry this is go over there go that way. kyle yeah. kyle there's look curtis cut my video because i had to take a phone call but listen there's no better place in the world to be than right here literally where else can you build a multi multi million billion dollar company industry make all the money in the world doing it with your family yes Please. who's talking i don't know who's talking but yes i think it's shane 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 who's been on pause the whole time right so yeah. yes yeah. and so what i would tell you is let's chat is a global opportunity with no barriers to entry because we're viable for every business in the world small large medium and everything in between right and as a SaaS platform for us to get on someone's website, it takes 30 seconds to be live and fully integrated. All, not one of our products takes more than two minutes to install. When it comes time to video and all that stuff, obviously based on the length of the video, but in, in general, uh, the implementation process, which leads directly to payment, uh, excuse me, Curtis, hold on. You know, guys, here's the thing. We, we got to kind of wrap up anyways. We want to respect your time. On the, the guys who are East Coast, it's already, you know, 8.05 at night. And, you know, I know, like, the simple fact that Kyle has naked children running around in the background. I'm sure right. many of us have that going on, too. So we don't want to push it any further than we've already been going. But, the right, good Curtis, thing, though, we all know if Jason were on, we, we'd still be going for another hour. So, but, I, so let me finish my thought, Curtis. So what I'm saying is, guys, this SaaS... AI, it's the hottest thing in the world right now, right? Machine learning, AI, you guys have a unique ability as one of the very few people in the world that can sell our patented unique technology. There's no competition. There's no barriers. The only barrier is you getting out and putting in the work and getting this in front of the right people. And I know there's some great products in here, right? Like ERC, I know people are making a lot of money ERC. ERC stops at 500 employees, right? So. There's no limits to Let's Chat. And I just want everyone to make clear the, the ball's in your court. We are here. We're supporting you. We want to grow with you. We want all of you. Look, Jenna's got naked babies too. It's great. I see them in the background. I spy them. I'm not alone. 
So thank you for that. But that's what I, I learned. This to weird do. technique called locking my door. I, yeah. I don't know when they invented it, but it's I have a useful. door. I have a door lock and a child lock on mine, <laughs> Curtis. So, but thank you all. If you have more questions, uh, you guys can email the support at Better Life when it comes to to uh, excuse me, support at Better Life when it comes to better questions. Email the better at letschat.com when it comes to let's chat questions, and we look forward to making a lot of money with every single person on this call. Residual income it. for the life of the customers you bring to our doorstep. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. My, uh, you know, he, here's the thing, guys. Uh, we've already kind of reclosed and reopened this call. I feel like a couple times because we keep diving into the the kind of passion that you're you're getting from both Kyle and myself. And the fact of the matter is, that's because Kyle and I know very well what you guys are capable of doing and what you're already doing. And the thing that scares us in the most tremendous of ways is we know that you guys have barely started. Like some of you guys I know are in the financial services industry. A lot of you guys are. That's where, you know, Jeff found his, you know, initial massive success. So you guys, I, I know all of you, if you went through any level of training on that side, it took you months to really get your feet firmly planted when it came to that side. We know that the same thing's gonna happen on this side. And we're, we're terrified and excited about how revolutionary you guys are going to make this thing. We are already seeing you send in deals that, uh, Kyle, like the one that you were telling me about earlier that you probably can't mention, and it's okay if you don't mention it. What is that one going to like, it's going to generate, what, probably tens of thousands of dollars in revenue a month, right? Yeah, it will be, no, it would be much more than that. Oh, okay. Um, and that's that just would be, the entry would be, into a much bigger be, company too. That would be commissions. That would be, it would be tens of thousands of commissions a month. The revenue would right. probably, obviously at, at 10 to 12% commission, the revenue would be in, in the seven figures in revenue a month. Yeah. Which, which puts you as a, as a agent at 12 and a half percent residual. It's like if it's seven figures in revenue, we're talking six figures in commission. So guys, the thing is, this is, this is not like anything I've ever seen before. It's mind blowing. We're so excited for what you're going to do with all of this. We're we're just ready to see if someone's going to really master some of the 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 marketing on on inviting people to better. Because so far we've seen a couple people get started on that and throw down some really massive numbers. Um, I had someone introduce me to th a, a company with 300 salesmen. So that would be 300 why personal that they're going to do once they bring this on in the next three days. So guys, just, just realize this is so much bigger, so much bigger than you can even imagine. I, I'm looking forward to you guys really fully understanding what this is and diving in. I know like Mark has, I know that Steve has, I know that some of my other guys and other teams also have. This thing for the guys who really get it is going to be just mind bending. The amount of commission, the amount of impact that it's also going to have on companies. Realize there are massive segments of this society that don't speak English. It's just it's just the the facts of life, and they go kind of uncatered to in this in this country. And we've got all these businesses that are struggling to figure out how to um, meet revenue goals that they have when they're not talking to 95 plus percent of the world. So you guys have something in your in your grasp right now that can change companies, the trajectory of companies, and as a result, change your lives. The, the amount of um, amazing things that we're going to see in the next six months, we're going to see, we're going to be paying out probably, probably six figures every week in the next two to three months just from one of these companies, let alone every single one of the companies on the platform. And um, that's, that's something to get excited about. So with that, guys, 810, thank you for sticking with us for just over an hour here. We appreciate all of you more than you know. We're excited to see you on um, the ERC call tomorrow. We're going we're gonna to dive in on some good stuff there. Uh, that's at noon Eastern, so 9, 9 a.m. on the Pacific side. And um, guys, let's just let's just change some people's lives. Let's change some companies, change the way that they're doing business, and really, really take this to another level. Thank you so much for all Curtis. being on here with us. Oh.
Huh? Hey, Curtis, real quick. I, I just didn't get where this is going to be posted. Um, Mighty Networks. You'll also probably get an email on it, okay? Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Take care. We'll see you all later. Bye. Thank you.